Tens of millions of parents have taken advantage now of the advanced child tax credit this year. According to the Tax Policy Center, 92% of families have received more than $4,000 because of it. But now that higher tax credit may come to an end if lawmakers can't reach a deal on Capitol Hill. Our Tracy A. McPeer breaks down what you need to know. Well, child tax credits are nothing new, but this year two things changed. The amount of money given for each child increased and the Biden administration allowed families to get half of the money in advance rather than waiting for a tax refund. But what happens now in 2022? We took the questions you're Googling the most to an expert for answers. Effectively, it has come to an end as of December 15th uh, because that was the last payment. So that's who really where it all hinges now. 11 Alive financial expert Andrew Poulos says this past year, child tax credit amounts were higher than ever because of the American Rescue Plan passed in March. So what is the child tax credit? It's money that normally uh, families with children receive, uh, typically families who are lower income uh, families. Uh, the limit is 75000 uh, moving upwards to 150000 for uh, couples who are married filing jointly. Has the government approved the advance payments yet for 2022? The short answer is no. Lawmakers are still trying to reach an agreement on the bill. But Pulo says a lot can happen in the next few weeks. The legislation can pass potentially as a standalone package, or it could pass after the holidays uh, when Congress uh, reconvenes again, and then they could make the payments retroactive starting in uh, January or February. How much is the child tax credit right now? The main difference this year is that the tax credit has increased from 2000 to either 3000 or 3600 depending on the age of your children and your income uh, threshold. And what are the payment dates? If it something changes and it continues on in 2022, uh, at this point, I suspect that the IRS will keep those payment dates being the same, so it will be sequential payments on the 15th of each month. So how do you opt out, and why would some people want to do this? Pulo says getting a monthly check may not be ideal for all families, depending on how they budget their money. Someone who would opt out would opt out because they prefer to get, for example, you know, five, 3,000, 6,000, 8,000, whatever the amount is, that depending on the number of children, you get it all as a lump sum. So they'd still get the credit, but after they file their taxes. To opt out, Pulo says there's a link on the IRS website. Now, if the legislation doesn't pass, the credit won't disappear. It may just become smaller and only available again in a lump sum at tax time. Now, coming up in just a few minutes, we'll explain the roadblocks in negotiations on Capitol Hill.